Hundreds of thousands of travelers are expected at the world's busiest airport tomorrow. You can expect the rush to look something like that Thanksgiving travel period that we saw. Airport authorities say they are prepared for what could be a record setting crowd this holiday season. 11 Alive's Jerry Carnes joining us in studio to look at the changes that have taken place over the last few years to keep up with the growing demand for air travel, Jerry. Good morning, Aisha. Let's talk about demand for a second. In 2019, Hartsfield Jackson became the first airport in history to see over 110 million passengers. Demand declined slightly during the COVID pandemic, but is building once again at a place with a history of change. Okay, all flights, all airlines. The ghost of Hartsfield Jackson past has given way to the presence of new technology at security checkpoints, while the future is under construction as crews prepare to widen a busy concourse. Frequent flyer Patrick Chassie has been inconvenienced at times by all the change. He's not complaining. They just try and make it as efficient as possible given the size of the airport and the amount of people that come through here. Atlanta's airport has come a long way since the small operation built on the site of an abandoned racetrack in 1925. By the year 2000, Atlanta's airport had earned the title of world's busiest. It was just a, a very a very different time. Hartsfield's assistant general manager for planning and development showed us aerial photographs of the airport over the past 20 years, pointing to the most important developments, including the 2006 edition of a fifth runway. It's similar to adding another lane to a roadway. If you've got big backup when you have two lanes, you add another lane, uh, that can, those delays can really, really go away. There's the 2012 opening of the International Terminal. The airport's car rental center opened in 2009. There's the opening of 150 new restaurants inside the airport in 2015 and the expansion of the airport's de-icing area to keep planes moving in winter weather. When the icing occurs here, it's, it's quite an event just because it doesn't happen that frequently. And, and if you don't practice and practice like they do up north, it, 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 it takes a little while. Future plans include widening the area for pickups and drop-offs in front of the terminals and replacing some of the plane trains. There's also the work now underway to widen Concourse D, providing more room for passengers as the world's busiest airport gets even busier. Airport authorities are currently updating their master plan, gauging demand as they prepare for future changes at an airport that will be 100 years old in 2025. Jerry. Wow, that's coming up quick. So interesting, Jerry. Thank you.